Hello, it's Ruby and today I am going to be filming a reaction to my exam grades 2020. If you didn't know, I have just finished my first year studying English literature at the University of Exeter. This year, because of the coronavirus, we had all of our exams online, so they were open book, 24 hour exams, very low pressure. I don't know really what to expect. I was really happy with my criticisms exam, like I was really proud of that as a paper. I thought that went quite well. The poem exam went okay and then the beginnings exam I really think I didn't do very well on because I was quite experimental in the style and format of which I wrote it. One of my tutors said you know well it's first year, have fun with this exam because it does, it's formative, it's not going to count. I basically experimented with the kind of answer that I gave, it's not the usual answer that I would give um, and I'm just curious to see whether this can actually perform quite well. If it doesn't, then I've still walked away with something quite, with something valuable because I know that in future I shouldn't do that. And it's not, it's not like a really big thing that I did, um, but I focused more, less on close reading and more on almost like a distant reading of the text. That's very out of character for me. And so I'm just interested to see how it goes. Okay, going into my emails. Oh my gosh, it's not my exam grades, it's like every single module and what I got for them. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you my, uh, like module by module, how I did. So the module I did worst in this year was my creative writing module which I'm not surprised about because in one of my pieces of coursework I got a 63 and that was actually the only two one I got the whole of this year which I'm like actually so chuffed about because I changed courses I was doing uh, philosophy and theology last year and I walked away with the first last year and I was nervous changing to English you know if I hadn't got a first overall this year and there was kind of a part of me that was nervous that like if I hadn't got a first this year and I had done better in the philosophy and theology, um, you know, maybe I just don't have the aptitude for English. And so the fact that I walked away with these grades, I am so, so happy with. And um, the fact that they're better than my philosophy and theology, I'm really chuffed about because I know that I've made the right decision changing courses. And the fact that the grades reflect that, um, is really great, I think. I know there's always a little bit of confusion whenever I talk about the grades that I got for university. So in the UK, this is the mark scheme we use. You get a mark out of 100 and you could think of like a 2-2 two -two as maybe a C, a 2-1 as a B, and then 70 plus as an A. A first, which is over 70, is the best grade that you can get at UK universities. My lecturers have said anything over 85 is good enough that you could publish it. Creative writing, I got seven, I got 63 for my 30 lines of poetry, 71 for my short story, and 85 for seminar participation. So overall that was 69, so I didn't quite get a first in that module. Then approaches to criticism, so last time we had a coursework essay and I got 73 in that. For the exam I got 70. I was really happy with that essay. Um, it's definitely one of the university essays I'm most proud of writing, so I'm a little disappointed with that because I thought it could have been better, I suppose. But also, it was an exam, and so to have got 70 and still got a first, I am really happy with. Seminar participation, I got 75 for criticism. So next, uh, beginnings. So beginnings was a module I did last year, so for the essay last term I got 70. For the, set, for the seminar participation I got 95 which I am so happy about. Beginnings was my favourite seminar and always did a lot of prep work before those seminars and really tried to contribute a lot to those so, so I'm really happy that I got such a high seminar participation grade for that one. Then for the exam I got 72 so um, somehow that was higher than my approaches to criticism. How I experimented actually wasn't a bad thing like um I can do that again in the future but I'm definitely gonna see if I can get some more feedback on that exam if I can next the novel so for my creative response and commentary I got 
a 74, which is my coursework. Then seminar participation, I got 85 again. So for the poem, which um, was maybe my favourite module this year, for the exam I got 72, and for the essay I got 72. And then seminar participation, I got 85. And then finally, academic English. For seminar participation, I got 75. The presentation, I got 71. The essay proposal, I got 73. And then the essay, I got 71. So overall, for each of my modules, I got 69 for creative writing, 72 for criticisms, 74 for beginnings, 75 for the novel, 73 for the poem, and 72 for academic English. And so overall, it comes out at 72.63 for my overall grade this year, which I am happy about. It's a low first, but it is a first, and it is first year. So thank you so much for watching this reaction video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you have a productive week. Thank you.